And in today's video guys, I'm about to show you how pros get super high FPS here in Fortnite Season OG. I'm about to show you all of the extra steps which pros do in order to get super consistent and high FPS and therefore also insanely low input delay. Real quick, are you tired of having bad FPS in Fortnite? Well, try out the low end 1v1 map guys where you get the highest FPS possible out of any 1v1 map. The map is super minimalistic and only has everything which you need for a 1v1 and nothing else which is gonna give you way worse FPS than on other maps. So therefore make sure that you try it out with your friends guys, the map code is right now on screen. So guys, in the first place we're going to utilize process lasso and this tool is literally insane when it comes down to optimizing your cpu and basically getting better performance in all of your favorite games you can find it as well on my official website the link to it is going to be in description or as well on discord.gg slash lost drive and first of all what i want you to do is click on the main and then you can see active power profile here you want to select bits and highest performance then as well in the same category guys you want to make sure that pro balance is enabled smart trim is enabled and performance mode is enabled all three of these here they're very important then additionally guys we're going to go under options then we can see tools and then you can see system timer resolution and this one we're going to put to exactly 0.500 then we're going to click under set then as well set at every boot click under ok and we're good to go guys you don't have to do more this is everything which i would personally apply right now for fortnite and with that said let's continue now with the next step in the first place guys we're going to be utilizing a tool which is going to be called ono shut up 10 plus plus this one you can find by the way on my official website or in the discord.gg slash those stripes and what this basically does guys this is a very insane tool for basically privacy settings of windows and we all know windows 10 windows 11 is collecting a ton of data of your pc no matter if it's advertising if it's maybe collecting data of your specs or showing you specific suggested content you know especially here in this ads feature and everything you can actually fully disable everything with this one tool with one single click you can already see we have three different categories right we have green we have yellow and we have red green is 100 recommended literally it's not gonna mess up anything on your pc yellow is kind of experimental and red is only if you know what you're doing and you can see guys there are already a ton of them right now here selected especially something with microsoft edge no one really utilizes it so therefore you can fully disable that one then a bunch of these microsoft services which are already pre-installed on your pc synchronization of windows settings this is basically if you have multiple desktops with the same windows account it literally doesn't matter but all of these processes are running actively in the background so you actually want to make sure to disable all of them but before you do that guys click on one of these options and it's going to ask you to make a restore point guys this is super important in case if you're up something you can just simply go back and yeah your windows is good to go so therefore always make sure to do this one and then you just simply have to click under actions and apply only recommended settings you can also do the yellow option but there again guys you gotta have a little bit more knowledge i would say about pcs and the best part about it is they even have an undo all changes feature so therefore you can just simply go back or yeah use the restore point function of windows directly but this is the first step guys once we're done with it we're going to continue now next up guys in the video description there's going to be the following comment which i want you guys to copy and go into your windows powershell just simply type in that powershell into your windows search bar then right click onto it and run it as administrator once we're now in here guys you're going to paste the following link in there and press enter just simply wait for it to load sometimes it might ask you if you want to actually enable it yes or no you're just simply going to type in y and then you can launch it and now we have the chris titus windows tech utility and this is a deep loader the best one out there in my opinion and what we have to do is click under tweaks guys and then we have a bunch of options in here we have desktop laptop minimal clear and what we want to click on is desktop guys these are all of the best tweaks which you can actually apply directly to your pc and the best part about it is you can hover over it and it's going to tell you exactly what it does all of the ones which are here recommended are safe 100 if you maybe want to do only minimal tweaks click under minimal if you're on a laptop obviously laptop and under desktop you have all of them which you can disable 100 next up here you also have an advanced tweak section guys where you can do something like remove all microsoft store apps this one is not recommended guys don't do that you have something like remove microsoft edge that one is actually not recommended because because theoretically if you uninstall google chrome or whatever you use then your only standard browser is also removed but if you know how windows works you can easily uninstall it i mean it's microsoft edge then as well remove something like onedrive which is this built-in cloud service of windows and these are all of the ones which i would recommend you actually to copy straight up then just simply make sure to click under run tweaks and once everything loaded up it should say tweaks are finished i obviously already did it on my pc and now once we've finished with everything we're going to continue with the next step and next up guys we're going to take a look at the gr booster which is the number one tool to actually improve your ping in fortnite even marrow the fncs when it's using it and you can try it out for absolutely free with the link in the description as you can see guys the gr booster is going to help you to improve your ping in game directly and you can see my estimated ping is only six milliseconds which is insanely low we already have improvement of 62 percent and it's basically 
definitely going to look in the background for the best DNS server, always to ensure that you have the least amount of ping. This is a brand new feature and it's called Adaptive Intelligent Routing and as mentioned, it's always going to make sure even in the background while you're gaming that you consistently have the best ping. So therefore, try it out for absolutely free with the link in the description. Now next up guys, also make sure that you open up your NVIDIA control panel, just simply search it up, NVIDIA control panel, and then you should have it. In here, we're gonna go under use the advanced 3D image settings. It doesn't matter if it says here quality guys, because if you click under take me there, all of these settings are going to override it. And I want you to basically copy all of them in here guys, step by step, just simply make sure that you copy all of them. Pause the video maybe real quick. I'm just gonna go through it one more time. What's super important basically is in the first place is that we have under power management mode, actually prefer maximum performance. Then we have preferred refresh rate, highest available of course of our monitor. Shader cache, you wanna put to 10 gigs. Then we have something like texture filtering quality, which should be on high performance. And then we're already good to go. Make sure that all of these here are copied. Then we're also gonna go under change resolution. And guys, I want you to not go here for ultra HD because so many people are wondering why can I not utilize the highest refresh rate of my monitor? You actually have to go down to PC and then here in these settings, you can actually apply the highest one. For me, it's 360 Hertz. Let me just simply gonna click under apply, then under yes, and now we're already good to go as well here. In the next step guys, what I want to do is basically go into a window search bar and type in the delete until you can find delete temporary files. And once we're in here now guys, we're going to click under temporary files. And here's a very specific option or basically two of them, which I want you to especially check or make sure that they're checked. First of all, we have DirectX shader cache. This one actually from time to time can be interrupted guys and cause FPS stutter. And the same as well with delivery optimization files. So therefore you wanna make sure that both of these here are checked 100% and then you're gonna click under remove files, click onto it and you can see now everything is cleared up and we got to go. 